In this presentation, we're going to take a look at multiple choice questions related to property, plant, and equipment. First question, method of depreciation that has the same amount of depreciation expense each period. A, accelerated depreciation. B, declining balance depreciation. C, straight line depreciation. D, units of production depreciation. And E, Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System. Let's go through this again. Method of depreciation that has the same amount of depreciation expense each period. A. Accelerated depreciation. Now that's going to have a different method, a different amount, because it'll be accelerated, having more in the front uh, of, the, of the time frame than the end of the time frame. B. Declining balance depreciation which is a form of accelerated depreciation, and therefore not correct either. Uh, C says straight line depreciation, and that seems reasonable. If we have a straight line depreciation, we're going to have the same amount allocated to each year. Let's keep going, though. D says units of production depreciation, uh, and that might you might think that might be uh, the same each year, but it depends on how many units we produce. So with the, if we produce more or less units, we will have more or less depreciation. Uh, e says modified accelerated cost recovery system, which is a tax depreciation method. And when we're thinking about financial accounting, typically the modified accelerated cost recovery, a tax method, is not going to be the, the answer. It's not the answer here. And it's usually going to be an accelerated method as well. So we have C then being the correct answer. Question, answer. Method of depreciation that has the same amount of depreciation expense each period. C. Straight line depreciation. <laughs> Next question. A depreciation method that results in larger depreciation expense in early years and smaller depreciation expense in later years. A. Accelerated depreciation. B. Declining balance depreciation. C. Straight line depreciation. D. Units of production depreciation. And E. Modified accelerated cost recovery system. So let's go through this again. A depreciation method that results in larger depreciation expense in early years and smaller depreciation expense in later years. A. Says accelerated depreciation. Now that seems right because it seems that we would have, under an accelerated method, larger expense in early years and lesser in later years. B says declining balance depreciation. Now the problem here is that that one is a form of accelerated depreciation method. So it does result in the same thing, expenses um, being higher in early years and later in later years. So I'll keep that for now. C says straight line method. And it's not that. That's going to be even across all periods. Uh, D says units of production depreciation. Uh, that will depend on the units that are produced. And if we produce more in the current year, you would think it would be reasonable, possibly, for it to result in that being the case, having higher depreciation in earlier years than later years, but not necessarily being the case. Uh, it just depends how many units we produce. And then E says modified accelerated cost recovery system. And again, that's a tax code one. And uh, it's probably not going to be an answer in most of our financial accounting. Uh, but most of the accelerated uh, recovery system is a form of accelerated method as well. So if we look at these, then we've got A, B, and E. And we have a depreciation method that results in larger depreciation expense in early years and smaller depreciation expense in later years. Now, this is a case where I think we have like kind of the more of the correct answer because this is really kind of a definition of what of an accelerated depreciation is, which is A. And then B, which is the double declining balance or declining balance depreciation, and possibly E could fall into the category of an accelerated depreciation method. So so therefore you, I think A is the, the most correct answer because that is what a accelerated method is. And we could have different forms of accelerated methods to achieve that. So that's going to be our answer here, A, uh, one, one more time. A depreciation method that results in larger depreciation in early years and smaller depreciation expense in later years. A, accelerated depreciation.